Hopefully you're lucky enough or maybe today be the last day of work or school before the Thanksgiving holiday. A lot of people getting ready to start for next week, but this year you're going to have to spend more money for your food, your travel and your gifts. Average spending for 10 people for the meal on Thanksgiving is $64 and five cents. That's up from last year's average of 5331. It makes this the most expensive Thanksgiving dinner in 37 years that the Bureau has been doing these holiday surveys. We talked to people who were grocery shopping yesterday about how the changes what about, about their changes they're making this year? I look at all the options at different venues and uh, choose that way who has the best prices for certain things. You can't grub as much as you want to. You got to eat little parts at a time. Well, it's a splurge. And of course, as we talk about every year, a lot of people aren't able to afford really anything this year. So this morning we have live team coverage on how you can get the help if you need it and stretch your dollar to get more for your money if you are able to do some shopping. Let's start with Caroline Hogan on that second topic. Caroline, let, let us make some sense of spending money this year. Right, getting the bang for our buck. That's exactly what we're looking for. So let's get right into it because people need to get out there and get shopping. So first, write out your recipes that you have available. That way you can look at the ingredients, see what you have, and take inventory about what you actually need to get. Thus, you don't have to go back to the grocery store before Thanksgiving when prices might be a little higher. Then shop around at different grocery stores. That way you can get the best prices and make sure that you're not being, you know, getting a little bit higher for that turkey this year. And then finally, a tip from our KSHBI team, but have a potluck. That way it saves a lot of time instead of having one person to do the whole meal. And it saves you money because you're only responsible for one uh, little dish itself. So overall, uh, saving some money and saving some time too. That's what we want. And Caroline, we know a lot of that Thanksgiving food goes right down the disposal. Unfortunately, how can we prevent wasting it? Yeah, so talking to a nutritionist at St. Luke's, Grace Hoffman, she said one of the best ways to do that is to focus on doing single serving portions. So make maybe little muffin, muffins of stuffing. She made those for us yesterday and they were so good. That way you can have, you know, one little muffin and not gorge yourself, little pumpkin pies maybe. And then for those scraps that you have left over from making the recipes, save those because they can go in soups, burritos, sandwiches, and put them in the fridge and they're going to be good for a long time. That way you're really stretching in your buck and you're not uh, wasting any food this holiday season. Good to know. Caroline, thank you so much. You know, nonprofits or food assistance agencies say inflation is eating away at their operations costs and donations. So let's get to KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon live for us this morning outside of Harvesters. Daniela, they work nonstop, especially this time of year to make sure people are fed, but it's even harder this year than it's ever been. Yes, that's right. Good morning, Ray and Taylor. To give you guys an idea as to how much inflation is driving up costs, this dollar here at Harvesters used to buy three meals. Up until the summer, though, this dollar can only afford to buy two meals. And Harvesters partners with at least 800 agencies in both Kansas and Missouri and is helping feed more than 226,000 people on a monthly basis. And though nearly the majority of those 800 agencies reported to them that they're experiencing a high demand for their services. Take a look at your screen. Yesterday morning, we were out here at Harvesters talking with staff members and volunteers. They say the demand mirrors what they saw during the height of the pandemic, but federal relief programs like child tax credits and monetary donations are simply no longer in place, and this is how it's impacting them. And we'll do everything within their power to make this be a good holiday, but I am concerned that it could be a challenge for families that are impacted. And, and so we're doing as much as we can with whatever we're resourced with to make sure that it is a good holiday season for everybody. And this is how you can help Kansas City. This afternoon, Denise Ramos Law Firm out in KCK, the 1500 block of Minnesota Avenue, is hosting a canned food drive. And if you go out there and make a canned food donation during 1130 till 2 p.m., you could be eligible to uh, get a free taco. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Danielle Leone, KSHB 41 News.